I'm not even. Hello? Are you uncomfortable? <laughs> you can't even see me. Oh my god. Uh, there you go. Okay. If you're uncomfortable, that is great. Uh, cause that's what I'm here to talk about. Oh, great transition, Thomas. Lovely. Not like physically uncomfortable, more like psychologically so. Either way, no one really likes to feel uncomfortable. Unless you do. Kinky, I don't know. So, I've been feeling a certain type of way. I think I'm very frustrated with people and I think frustrated with myself and I really don't know how to channel it. So, hey, channel. It's on, we're live, and this ain't Nickelodeon. These are awkward times, to say the least. Most people, we tend to run away and try to escape uh, uncomfortableness, if that's a word. For me, for example, I was watching the news. The news would make me really, really uncomfortable. Or also, when people would ask me about my sexuality in middle school, and high school, and college. We seek refuge in comfort. The world wants us to be comfortable. I mean, is there any other reason why half of everyday life appliances have chopped off half of their difficulties? No. Comfort. Sad thing is, reality is uncomfortable. Life is full of injustice and pain and hate and hurt and we as a society have adopted this lifestyle of just passing blindly through the mud until we get to the clear waters of willful release of control. We've let other people show us reality, one that, sweetie, it ain't that real. One that's riddled with convenience and we somehow become shackled in lies told by people who know better or know more than you, Thomas. How many presidential elections have you won? Our minds became mechanic and our thoughts are just copy and paste. You know, we spend on average 33% of our 24 hours a day sleeping and yet we wake up and we are still sleeping. When we begin to face those discomforts of life and those harsh truths about the world we were given and how it has been infected with these diseases we call systems. Systems, by the way, only benefit a certain type of person. <coughs> White men. <coughs> only then we become awake. There is no growth in comfort, and that applies not only to our lives, but how we choose to live those lives in this beautiful world. As kids, we're just taught to listen, take in the information, and accept it. We can't question what we are given. We can never question it, because if you do, you would get a big <laughs> And nobody wants that. Unless... Kinky. So because of that, our critical mind just got critically underused. Christopher Columbus discovered America? Sure he did. Jesus was white? I mean, duh. Capitalism is great. I mean, it's worked wonders so far. It's not like it's poisoning our minds and killing off our planet. At one point, we just relinquished control and put on autopilot. What would happen if we started facing these uncomfortable truths about ourselves, life, and society? We would notice that this ain't working. It's not. How can it? How can there be a perfect man-made world with perfect man-made systems where half of the total wealth goes to the top 1%? where thousands of black men, women, and children are killed every year in the US, where approximately 10 women are brutally murdered every day in Mexico for just being women, where 80% of Yemen's population is in dire need of humanitarian help, 
and also where in around 70 countries it is still illegal to be gay and in 12 you can get the death penalty tell me is this a perfect world we have to continue to face these hard truths and i say continue because we have started we've got the ball rolling we can't stop and this is where my camera decided to suddenly die. So sorry to spoil the mood, but the angle's gonna change just a little bit. And I decided to create this distraction so you don't notice. Oh my God, how are you? And yes, people will be aggressive and people will think you're attacking them for asking these hard questions. But remember this, if you're gonna say it, mean it. And if you're gonna mean it, say it with love. Don't become silent on the things that matter because silence will serve us no purpose in the world that we want to create. Oh, and it'll be scary facing those harsh truths because once those rose-colored glasses fall, the only thing you want to do is plop them right back on until you don't. Because then you realize that every single person in this world deserves to live in a world without hate. Because hate is nasty and we do not do that here. So this was a short one, but I want to leave you all with this. If you have a voice, use it. If you have a heart, apply some self-love and spread it around. And if you have a mind, cultivate it. Make it smarter, create and do great things. And most importantly, if you have a finger, click like and click subscribe. <laughs> oh my God, I can't even do that seriously. I mean, do, but also do those other things because they're more important, okay? So that's all I really wanted to say in this video. Thank you so much for listening to me. If you finished the whole video, I really, really appreciate it. You mean the world to me. And I know this was a serious one, but thank you. Thank you so much. I love you. I'm Tom. You're beautiful. I will see you in the next video and goodbye. I keep forgetting to tell people, follow me on Instagram. You can't really see it, but I will leave. Here it is. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me in real life. Follow me on Instagram. Hello? How do they do this? That's me. I've now reached 32 subscribers. That is wonderful. To those 32 people, I love you. You are amazing. You are the age of my mom when she had me. So, I love you. Mwah. 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 Mwah.